day, everybody. How y'all doing? Thank you for coming back. Thank you for coming back. As always, I appreciate it. I really hope you're having a wonderful day or night, and welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another Jazzware review. What? Yeah, Jazzware. They made uh, some new uh, Halo figures in the Spartan Collection, and I got Master Chief. I want to check these out. Saw these at Walmart. I was like, oh, this looks pretty cool. Love the game Halo. Played it, you know, since day one and everything, and always liked it. So, pretty cool box. Got the halo and up there, underneath, blah, blah, blah. In the back, uh, they did have the white one, and I think they had the blue one as well. Uh, so I may go back and get these, because I really like the Master Chief so far. But there you go. Halo, halo, halo. So yeah, let's just get to the review. That's what you came for. I hope so. But anyways, yeah. All right, there is Master Chief. So let's take a look what he comes with. He comes with a little card, Halo Infinite, a little add-on. Turn around the back and you can, you know, win something or redeem it for some hollow points or something like that. Halo waypoints. Anyways, pretty cool. That's what it does. Comes with an assortment of hands, two weapons as well. So we'll take a look at these real quick. And you get the hands, like a open, kind of grasping kind of thing. Nice green paint right there for the top. So you get two of those right there. You get two closed fists right there on him. And then you get two pointing fingers. Or kind of a, where you can hold, I'm not well, pointing, but you can also uh, hold the weapons and everything. Once again, green paint right there is, well, nice little shiny paint job. And then you get one with the two finger. And that's it. Once again, nice paint right there as well. Pretty cool. And you get his weapons, you get his signature rifle. That is paint. That's silver or gray paint right there. On top of the black. Or it might be black paint painted. It might be both. Hmm. Looks like that black is painted on there too as well. So it might be just black paint. Hmm. Oh, nice rifle. I like it. Pretty cool. And you get a little pistol. And it's got green paint on there. That's pretty cool. So that is all he comes with. All right, here he is on his weapon. Like I say, you just switch out. All you gotta do is pop out the uh, hand and ball joint. You can put in any hand you want to. Not real easy. So got the one right there. Now you can take the gun out right here, and he does have a spot right here to place it. And there's a little hole right there on the back, and you just pop it in there, and you have a storage. And same with the pistol. You can hold the pistol as well. Now, this is pretty cool. So what you do is, for him to carry the pistol, you take this little, on both sides, and it has this little option as well. You just take that off, and put it like, like, like that. And this does have a hole as well. And you can just uh, place your pistol right there. And both sides. Now, it's not really a secure I mean, it'll stay there, you know, if you're just going to put it on the shelf or something like that. But it will pop off easy, but both sides will do that. So that's pretty cool. A little hidden little thing. So I'll just put this back in there. And if you want to, you can carry the pistol on your back, too, if you want to. That's your option. That's not another option. But I wouldn't do that. But anyways, yeah, that's how you do the weapons. Pretty cool. All right, took the weapons off thing. So let's just take a look at the figure, and it looks pretty good. Love that gold for the visor. It looks really nicely done. You got some nice uh, silver accent pieces in there for the side of the helmet. Now, all throughout, it's got some nice dry brushing and everything. It's got some nice silver. Like it's green plastic, but you can tell there's some silver in there as well. Looks really good. Nice temple stickers and everything. Got the silver up here, the uh, gray up here, and then up here for like the vents and everything. Looks really good. And on the other side right there, I see you got some dry brushing also, so it looks really good. It's got a nice shiny plastic, you know, it's real slippery. You got the black right here, all that, and the 117 looks good. And then the crotch area once again, and then you got the nice brushing as well. You got some stuff back here for the knees and the feet as well. Some nice silver accents, dry brushing over there. Looks really good. And on the back, once again, that silver comes out real nicely done. The top of the helmet 
as well. The back, like it's just, you know, it's weathering. Look like he's been through some stuff and everything. Right, like that on the back. Looks good. So there you go. That is some detail, nice detail work on this figure. All right, let's do some, uh, let's do some articulation. How about that? Once again, love the helmet. It looks really good. So you can look down quite a bit, up a little bit. Kind of wish you'd do a little more, but you know, with everything getting away, I can understand that. You go side to side, and you get a little attitude as well. So very nicely done. I like that. Looks good. Like I said, the chest, got all the temple stickers. Good. All right, so you do have like a butterfly. Now, he is a little loose, a little loosey goosey, but really good. I like that. You can go all the way around. You do have a. Uh, no, you don't have a bicep swivel. Hmm. I thought you had a bicep swivel. It'll go out to there, about right up to there, like that. This starts getting away a little bit, but not bad. Uh, let's see. Double elbow. Looks good. Once again, I love that silver, the dry brushing or the uh, stuff and everything. So you got a swivel for the hand and a hinge right there as well. I'll say done. No biceps. Well, well I guess it. Yeah, it does have well up on the top. It's up by the shoulder. So I guess you can count that. So yeah, there is a swivel right there. That's good. I thought there was. I was like, man, it's not at the elbow. A nice elbow. Pretty good. All right. Here's the chest. Same for the this side as well. So you do have a, not an acronym, but a waist swivel a little bit. It is tight. It is really tight, but it does there. Now, it doesn't go all the way around, which you don't really need to, but it does give you enough and everything. Ab crunch, not much. Now, my boy uh, T-Man, T-Man did a, a video, a review on this guy, and he did a little fix. He did some uh, wearing down and everything, some cutting of the plastic, so he's able to get a little ab crunch. But I think this thing right here is stopping it. And stuff in the back also is stopping it from doing an ab crunch. So, see, it'll pop off. It's on the ball joint right there. So, yeah, not much of a ab crunch, which would have been really cool. But, yeah, so you got that. Uh, let's see. Van Dam, mm, not all the way, just about that far. You can move the legs a little bit and get a little more, I guess. But you do got a swivel. Or uh, thigh swivel, that's good. Kick up, not much back, his booty gets in the way. That's not bad. All right, so you do have a double knee right there. That's pretty good. Now this thing moves, the knee pad moves up and like that. So that's how you get the double. All right, moving down, you do got toe tilt up and down with this. Mine's really loose on this side, a little tighter on that one. I do got toe tilt up and back. And you do got a rocker and you got some nice uh some uh, kicks down there some nike stuff or whatever some tin balloons but anyways there's the back like i've already shown that so just needs ab crunch and you got everything you need really to be honest so there you go there is the articulation of master chief from the halo collection or spartan collection all right, there's two NECA figures in the back of the Ultimate Line collection, uh, Ultimate Line. Then you got the Mezco, Freddy, and you got the uh, Storm Collectibles, Storm uh, Sub-Zero, golly. And uh, that's kind of a scale reference right there. I think it's about seven inches tall. So there you go. Scale. And a bottle of water, some crappy toilet paper. More scale. All right, let's talk about some Halo. This is Master Chief in the Spartan Collection. Really good. I like it. I like the hands it comes with. It's pretty cool. They're easy to switch out and everything. The weapons are uh, pretty good. I like the pistol. Now, the only issue I really have with the weapons is it really can't hold the rifle that well. His little pointing finger, you know, with the trigger finger, is kind of, it just kind of really loosey-goosey and everything, so it's not the best fit and everything. But it does have some paint on it, and that's pretty good, so I like that. I like the way you can store them as well, you know, on his back and on his uh, thigh and everything, so that's pretty cool. The sculpt work is awesome. It's got some nice tempo uh, stickers and everything. The paint has got some weathering, like dry brushing, and it looks, you know, really, uh, you know, like he's been through some wars and everything, because, you know, he has and everything, so it looks really good. I love the gold on that faceplate. It looks really good. It just really pops and everything. So I really like the paint. Uh, the articulation is pretty good overall. Really stiff, and, you know, the knees are hard to kind of bend everything, but um, everything is good except for, could have used an ab crunch, you know, like I said, my boy T-Man, he tried to do one, and, you know, it just 
there's stuff just gets in the way, but it really could have used a, a you know ab crunch. But other than that, the articulation is pretty good. Uh, you know, the uh, waist joint is really tight, so be careful with that. It will pop off. It's just a ball joint. You just pop it right back in. But other than that, really nice articulation. I had a great time taking pictures of it, so pretty good. So overall, I like this. For 20 bucks, I think it's worth the price. It's size, you know, it's the price of a Marvel Legend. And if you like Halo, I definitely would get this guy. Master Chief is really good. I'm going to go back and get the other ones as well. And I, I really like it. You know, everything comes with, and I love the paint and everything. So really, really nice. I, I had a great time with this one. So let's get on the floor and do some floor time. Won't you join me and be my neighbor? All right, all right, all right. So yeah, not too bad. I mean, for 20 bucks, go down another rabbit hole. Sort <laughs> G.I. Joe's and now this. Think about picking up some He-Man stuff too as well. Golly. Transformers, yeah. Only issues I really had, like I said, wish he had an ab crunch. That would have been a whole lot, you know, helped it a lot. And just holding that rifle is just not really secure. It's kind of loosey goose and everything. But other than that, it's a fantastic, fantastic uh, action figure. I love the little side things can pop off and you can uh, store the uh, pistol. That's pretty cool. So yeah, but go check out my, my boy T Man. Like I said, he made a video to try to get an ab crunch and everything. It's pretty good. And watch his review too. I'll watch his review. It's really good. But yeah, really nice. And you get some separate hands. That's awesome. I mean, come on now. So yeah, that was my review for Master Chief from the Spartan Collection. Once again, not bad. Not bad at all. I like it. So hit me up with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go there and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. And hit me up with some comments. Some of you thought of the review. And I guess I'll see you on the next, uh, whenever I get the other one, Halo Reviews. And as always, be good to yourself, Hell Hasbro, and good night, folks. So there you go, Master Chief. I love that gold. So good, it pops.